Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to show you how to merge the master branch into any other branch in Git. Now here is the scenario. I've got the master branch and I've got the development branch. Right now, they are both in the exact same state. They both have a file named alpha.html. Technically speaking, they actually both point to the same commit. But I'm going to add a new file to my master branch. It's going to be called beta.html. No master beta jokes, please. And what we then need to do is take this file that's in the master branch and get it into the development branch. And the only way we can do that is to do a merge. That is, merge the code that's in master and get it into the development branch. So to simulate the addition of this beta.html file, which theoretically could have come in from maybe another branch got merged into master, maybe the release branch got merged in, maybe the hotfix branch got merged in, who knows? But what we're going to do to simulate this addition of a new file to the master branch is we're going to open up the git bash shell, notice I'm on the master branch, and I'm just going to do a touch beta.html. Touch just creates a file. I mean, I could have just right-clicked and said new file, but touch is such a cool way to do it. Creates a new file, and then I do a git add, a git commit, and now we have a situation where all of a sudden our master branch is out of sync with the development branch, because the development branch only has a file named alpha.html, but the master branch has both alpha and beta. So what do we do? Well, we want to merge from master into develop. What you have to do if you want to merge code from one branch into another is you have to be on that other branch. So I'm going to do a git switch. You may have seen git checkout. That's so 2019. Now we use git switch and git instead of git checkout. And I say git switch development. So now I'm on the development branch. Notice that I only have the alpha.html file, right? Because the beta file is only on the master branch. Again, if I switched back to master, you'd see beta come up. If I now go back to the development branch, git switch development, beta goes away because the development branch only has this alpha file. So how do I get that beta file into the development branch? Well, you do a merge. You do git branch merge, or not git branch merge, git merge, and then the name of the branch. And what's the name of the branch? It's master. And of course, uh, we've kind of changed the name of master to main, so it should be main. But for this particular scenario, it was master. I click enter, and all of a sudden, we get a merge. And you can see a little note here. It says, hey, we added a new file to the development branch. We added beta.html. And if I do a little git ref log here and maybe even take a look at the history, it says, hey, master and development, they're both caught up. They're both in sync. And how do we know that both of these branches are completely in sync? Well, because they're pointing to the exact same commit ID, which means it's all the same data from one commit to another. And there you go. That's how you can merge master into any other branch in your Git repository. Now that did assume no Git merge conflicts. It's a bit of an advanced topic, but I've got a couple of other tutorials on YouTube about Git merge conflicts, just in case you run into that scenario. Now, if you did enjoy that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I got a lot of other great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps tools, and enterprise development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?